Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Emitone tutorial. I'm your host, Evan Bolster, the creator of Emitone, and today I'm going to teach you to set up Emitone with Ableton Live. Ableton is a DAW that is popular for not just live performance, but also desktop music production by musicians of all experience levels. We're going to be using Emitone version 0.10c, which features our exciting new pitch tracking technology. Let's take it away. First, open Emitone, either by using the icon on your desktop or opening the Start menu and typing in Emitone. Next, we'll open Ableton Live, again, either with the desktop icon or by typing Ableton into the Start menu and pressing Enter. It'll take a little while to load up. Now that both Imitone and Ableton Live are open, we need to connect them. We should go to Imitone Setup and make sure that its MIDI output is set to Imitone App to App. Then we should go to Ableton's MIDI options under Preferences. Preferences, Link and MIDI, and here we'll see under our list of inputs we have the option for Imitone App to App. After selecting Imitone App to App as an input, we should make sure it's enabled as a track control. This means Imitone's MIDI will be able to control the instruments in Ableton. While we're here, we should look at Ableton's audio settings, as well as Imitone's. If you've installed some kind of ASIO driver, such as ASIO for All, on your PC, you'll want to use that in Ableton. Imitone, meanwhile, supports kernel mode. These advanced audio modes reduce the delay between singing and hearing the instrument. This makes it, in general, easier to play, as the rhythm will be more accurate. Importantly, when using kernel mode or ASIO, you can't share the microphone between Imitone and Ableton Live. This means that you'll probably need to shut your microphone input off in Ableton Live while using Imitone unless you have two different microphones attached to your PC. We can find Ableton Live's instrument selection by picking Instruments under Categories on the left, then looking inside some of the subcategories. For today, let's look inside Operator Synth Lead. To use an instrument, you can double-click it to create a new MIDI track in Ableton, or click and drag it to an existing MIDI track. Read the Ableton Live manual for more information about managing instruments. Ableton Live has two different views of our tracks, horizontal and vertical. Use whichever one you prefer. Either way, our instrument track has a small button containing a circle with a music note on it. If we click that, we can begin playing our instrument. Ah, ah, ah. Next, we should pick some Imitone settings that are appropriate for our instrument and the song we want to play. First, let's pick a key and scale other than chromatic, because it's quite difficult to play in chromatic. Let's go with a blues scale. And let's give that a try. We should also try to pick an instrument preset that matches our instrument. We're playing FM3 Glide Lead now. So, let's try a mode that supports some gliding, such as Imitone's Winds mode. <laughs> Lastly, sometimes the pitch of the instrument isn't quite where we want it. We can use Octave Shift to move it up and down. Let's try some other synthesizers, maybe something from the brass category. We can use Imitone's noodle preset for a more unstructured effect. We can find more realistic instruments under Ableton's Sounds category. For instance, there's a selection of pianos and keys. 
Of course we'll want to use the piano preset for this. Ableton has a limited selection of built-in instruments, and most users install plugins to add to its library. Any plugins you've downloaded or purchased can be found under the Plugins menu on the left side. Here I'll use the Swam Engine saxophone. <laughs> If you want to record your performances, you can switch Ableton Live to the horizontal view and click the record button, that's the circle up at the top. Make sure to click the enable button on any instruments you want to record. Play back what you've recorded with the triangular button. If you want to clean up your performance, double click on the recorded MIDI. Here you can find any stray notes and delete them. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to be notified when we make a new tutorial, you can like and subscribe, or simply browse our channel. Always be sure to use Emitone in accordance with our sound clarity instructions in order to reduce the chance of unexpected audio artifacts. Happy singing!